Hey guys, it's Ashley. And real quick, I wanted to share with y'all a quick haul I did from Dashika Beauty. I left everything like this because I wanted to show you how it came packaged because I just opened my package. And it has this piece of um, bubble wrap on top of it, just laid right here. And then the polishes are just kind of in here and surrounded by the little styrofoam foams. I've never had polish wrapped like this or sent to me like this. Normally it's all individually wrapped in bubble wrap so that you don't run the risk of it being busted or crushed. Luckily, everything got to me in one piece. None of the polishes are hurt or seem to be damaged at all. It's just really weird that they're just thrown in with little egg crates but I mean it worked it got to me in one piece um, and then all my little stamping plates and then this is in here oh, it looks like she gave me two gift plates SDP 115 and it just has these cute little images on it. That bunny is going to be perfect for Easter. And then Dash 53. This is a, like a tiny mini plate. I guess this is her version of the round plates or the square plates like Bundle Monster has. It has a very cute back. And then this one's backed as well. Oh, okay. Anyways, if y'all want to see a separate swatch video of these, just leave me a comment below and I will swatch them for you. So, real quick, I'm going to unwrap all this and I'll be back to do um, swatch tests of the polishes over black and white. And I'll be using these stamping plates to swatch test them with so we can see how these images pick up. Okay. And the first stamping plate that I got was plate number 11. I had actually ordered a plate that was that came before this one, but she forgot to put it in my box, I guess, and just refunded me my money. She never emailed me and asked me what she wanted me to do. I really wish she would have just slipped it in a package and sent it to me since she forgot to put it in there. But she won't respond to any of my emails, so... I just can't complain. At least she refunded my money. Um, so here's plate number 11. I love this one's going to be perfect for summer. You have your little fish pond here. And I like that it's like a... Kind of look like you're looking down into the water with the fish beneath the lily pads. I thought that, that was really, really neat. And then you have your mermaids. Your starfish. Your clam. You've got your corals and seaweed. you got two little cute seals. I love this anchor image here and this little lifesaver image here. You've got waves, palm trees, you've got, I guess that's a fly. You've got fish, more starfish, and then you've got like a netting image with a bow. Very, very cute images. And here it is without the blue film on it and as you can see the etching on these plates is very very nice see I can't even pull my finger through the image because the etching stops my finger here's plate number 11 here's plate number 12 and of course I had to get this one because I love cats especially the big cats and you've got all sorts of different types of animal print here. You've got a tiger, a lion, another tiger, a tiger paws. You could actually use your clear stamper for this image. And then you have a little uh, leopard. I think that's a leopard. Cute, cute images. Here is plate number 17. I loved this plate. It's one of your free stamping collage plates. You've got stars up here, butterflies, a little deer, a dove, another bird, 
another deer, you've got wolves, flowers, you've got two lions here, you got this cute little kitty cat down here. Is that a bunny? Oh look, there's a little bunny face in there too. And then you have all different types of just beautiful free stamping. Have plate number 23. You've got peacocks up here with flowers and kind of your different lace patterns. And then you have these beautiful wings coming off with the stars and then a heart. Different flowers and the same wings but uh, with the opposite stamping style. And then down here you have this design with the hearts instead of the stars. Next I got Infinity Nails 52. And this one has a bunch of your safari images. You've got elephants and giraffes up here. And down here you have like giraffe and its baby. You have a lion, some birds, another lion, some rhinoceroses. Then here you have these cool looking deer. Some giraffes eating out of the trees. You've got the sun coming up over the horizon or some clouds. You got some geese. A oh, mom and elephant and her baby and trees and then here you have I guess bat butterflies they kind of look like bat they have bat wings but they're got butterfly bodies then you have alligators some lily pads and some mushrooms plate number 65 and on this plate you have Tinkerbell which was the main reason I got this one and then you have butterflies you've got Spongebob a squiggly design some dolphins and some waves, some pretty flowers, kind of like a sweater pattern here, just your different sweater designs, another Spongebob, and down here you have um, the Thanksgiving design with the pumpkins and uh, vegetables. I got plate number 66, and this one up here has this really cute image with, you've got the moon, and it looks like kind of bubbles and mushrooms and then over here you have good luck bear some little a couple of cats it's neat looking tree and then you have these cool dot designs and then here you have Donald Duck and you've got a bunch of bows and some rainbows oh little Mickey Mouse symbols it's cute Mickey ears and a Minnie Mouse bow I guess and then down here you have Mickey and Minnie, so cute. Next is plate number 66. This one had the little rhino with the palm trees, Kermit the frog, some little spider dude laying in his web. You've got this cute cat design right here. And then you have flowers, lots of different flower designs. And then up here, you have this gorgeous image of these two parakeets. I love this image. Very, I think it would be very pretty filled in with color. Plate 75. And on this plate, you have kind of like your mountain scene up here with your rabbits and your wolf and a campfire. And um, your cart taking people up the mountain. A bunch of pine trees. And then here you have a little cabin with moose. Oh, look, there's a little bear, mama bear and baby bear. And then you have your deer. Oh, two little bunnies dancing, moons, birds. And then you have Snow White. And then you have another house, more pine trees, and a cute little baby deer with a church. And then you have two little happy snowmen. Oh, and a random little hedgehog with hearts. And then you have your snowflake images too. Next is plate number 85. And I got this one because of the cute little fairies on it and the different free stamping designs. You've got a cute little owl here. You've got stars and these flowers and little bubbles. And up here you have this really, really pretty flower with swirls around it. And then you have more fairies with stars and more of your flowers. Just a very pretty plate in general. Next is plate number 93 and this is another one of your 
um, tiger cat plates, but it also has a bunch of owl des designs on it. It has some little stamp that says, I love owls. <clears throat> You've got two of your kind of tribal design tigers with some tiger stripes, some leaf images, very pretty leaf images. Looks kind of like snake skin mixed with leopard print. And then you have this little grouchy looking owl. He's so cool. And then you have flowers. I love jungle. You've got two of your jaguars. Looks like tiger eyes right here. And then you have another cool looking owl with flowers on either side of him. And here is plate number 110. And this is the My Little Pony plate. And she actually had quite a few plates that had character images on them, but most of the ones that I really, really wanted were out of stock, so I'll have to try to watch and get those at a later date. Because these plates are very pretty, and they're priced really well. I think I paid $3.99 a piece for these. This is plate number 111, and this is more of your frozen plate. It has Olaf and Elsa and just different snow designs. You've even got these cute little owls and birds with Olaf. This is plate 122 and this plate has a bunch of your little kitty cats on it. And it's more of a free stamping plate for cats. You've got cats and butterflies, birds, bones, a little mouse toy, butterfly, bird houses, more of your birds. Next is plate number 124. And I got this plate because of all the beautiful heart images on it. You've got a heart butterfly, a heart with these abstract wings, hearts making a heart, heart cross. And you can see the skull it has a dragon coming out of it. Um, you've got more hearts, hearts with ribbons, hearts with roses, two kitties making a heart, a uh, little cupid and some hearts, birds, and your sparrows. It's a really cool pattern right here. And then lots more hearts down here. Next is plate 150. And this one, as you can see, is kind of like a 4th of July Z plate kind of like the bottom half is you've got looks like Tinkerbell these two little birds kissing and making hearts and stars you've got your flag heart two flag hearts says USA and has stars different flags you've got two little kitties you've got hello kitty baking a pie you've got these cute little monkeys you've got Cupid Hearts, kind of looks like a Barbie image with stars coming off. Oh, look, the little monkeys are peeping out again. And next is plate 159. And as you can see, this has more of your fairies. And I got it for pretty much the cute little frogs. Well, all the images on this plate are cute. But you have clouds making raindrops, a flag. Up here you have... A, f a flower fairy. It looks like a little girl coming out of a flower. You got a duck. You've got these cute little frogs. Cute caterpillar. Cute little bugs. There's another cute caterpillar in there. You've got these birds. You've got a fairy. More birds. These birds right here are so cute. And then butterflies and lots of flowers. Next is plate 162, and this is another one of your animal plates. On here you've got camels, turtles, um, squirrels, lizards, horses, lions, rhinos. It looks like a prehistoric rhino. You've got cat, snake, beaver, a long-eared squirrel. You've got panda bears, polar bears gorillas, an otter maybe, a jackrabbit, an eagle, a skunk, a pig, a caribou, 
deer, fox, wolves. I got some more geese and some dragonflies. The last plate I got was the Infinity Nails Kids plate number one. And I thought the images were a little bit bigger. I don't know why I thought that. It's for kids, but these images are so adorable. If you have a little girl, these will be perfect for you. We've got cute little pandas, giraffe, little gorillas. Pretty much every little animal you could think of is on here. They're so cute. Look at the little ducks. So many cute, cute little character images. The first polish that I'm going to be swatching is this red. Oh my gosh, look at that. It stamps so perfect over black. Unlike my Born Pretty Store polish, it shows up so vividly. I'm so excited about this polish. And here it is over white. The next polish I'm going to be swatching is this light green. And it picks up perfectly. And oh my gosh, it is so beautiful over the black. I'm so glad that I got these stamping polishes. And as you can see, even these stamping plates are picking up perfect as well. And there's the green over the white. Next, I'm going to swatch this orange. And as you can see, it picks up perfectly. And it shows up gorgeous over black as well. And there it is over the white. Next, I'm going to test out this yellow. And it shows up so vividly over the black. It's just perfect. All these polishes are good. And there it is over white. Next I'm going to be stamping with this coral. It shows up wonderfully over black as well. And there it is over white. Next I'm going to be testing this copper color. It doesn't show up as vibrant over the black as I would hoped, 
but it does give that shimmery undertone of the copper. And there it is over the white. Next I have gray. And it stamps perfectly over black and because it's not going to show up over white, I'm not going to stamp it over the white. Next is this pastel pink. And it stamps perfectly over black as well. And it shows up a little bit over the white. Next is this pastel purple. It shows up very well over black as well. And there it is over the white. It's almost completely lost. So here are all the swatches over white and black. My general consensus is I give these polishes 5 out of 5 stars. I love them. They stamp beautifully over black and white. They don't have that odor that Mundo de Unis polishes have. And they aren't thick like the Mundo de Unis polishes, which is a very big plus. And the stamping plates pick up amazing. If you like this video, please subscribe. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.